keeping with the theme about horse racing, today's Countdown Closer says she's got picks with winning pedigrees as well. We're joined by S&P Global Portfolio Manager Aaron Gibbs. All right, let, let's bring in the horses here. Yeah, so uh, a couple I like that are a little more defensive as well. Uh, one is First Energy. Uh, it's an energy stock, but it still has growth. It actually is unusual to be a utility um, and I have an amazing dividend, but actually have a lot of activist investors come in and some real growth potentials. And the other one is Encompass Health. It's really all about rehab. The average age of their patient is 76, so it's all about post-surgery, post-stroke. They just have real advantage when it comes to technology, and we're looking for a 30% potential profit increase. Let me just ask you about First Energy. Uh, is there a dividend there? Yeah, a 4% dividend. They also sorry, got Sorry, if you said that, I, yeah, I just didn't hear Yeah, I'm sorry. so like really high dividend. So it's, it's great in this environment where we're talking about potential lowered interest rates because you're still going to get that 4% a dividend yield. So a really attractive in some of these areas where we're looking at lower rates. We got a jobs number today. Okay, it missed, but I grabbed Joni Ernst right after she was on Mornings with Maria, and I said, where do you see the real strength in, in jobs and hiring? And she said healthcare. Would that include your second pick? Exactly. And because uh, because Encompass really focuses on the baby boomers, helping them rehab both in, inpatient and, and at home, mm -hmm. they just have some massive growth potential and they're trading well below their peer valuation. So we really see about a 30 percent pop for the stock. That's ticker symbol EHC in case you're driving and you can't see it on <laughs> XM Sirius 113. You know, Aaron, let's broaden the discussion here to what's happened this week in the markets. Last week, there was some real concern. What do you say to, to friends, people, whoever, investors who come up to you and say, I I'm getting out, and then they missed a week like this? Very hard to time the markets. People shouldn't try. Yeah, so one thing is definitely you don't want to try time the markets. Another thing is, though, I don't see us being completely out of the woods. When you look at the real winners for this past week, it's utilities, it's REITs, uh, and it's somewhat some of the health care. So it's not, it's not the high growth stocks that have been coming back and bouncing back. It's actually your super defensive, high dividend yielding, low volatility stocks. And when those kind of stocks are leading the pack, it means that there's still a lot of fear in the market. Mm -hmm. Investors are just going to dividend yields. Uh, and there's still a lot of fear out there. And so anything could tip the scales back into sending us back into that downtrend. I don't see the fears and the full recovery coming just yet. Okay. And I so I would say just be prepared that we might see some more choppiness going forward. It's not, I wouldn't say call it completely over just for, because of one week. Aaron Gibbs, always, always so smart on the markets. We thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great weekend.